we had one from Marvin Lipper um, early on. It's relating to a land trust question. And let me set the stage here with what he's got in here first. He said, the goal is to transfer property with a mortgage from a personal name to a land trust, which is not continued, no TIN, but whose beneficiary with 100% beneficial in rights is an LLC with an EIN and a bank account. The purpose of the structure is one, he's sit, still setting the stage here, one, to preserve the tax benefits of having the proceeds of the trust assets to be taxed as a 1065 LLC partnership, and two, to allow the property and trust with the LLC beneficiary to be sold as an IRS allowable 1031 exchange property. The question is, how do I inform the bank that holds the mortgage that I should use, that it should use the LLC EIN to report all mortgage interest payments to the IRS? The Street Smart Trust Letter requests only the trust TIN to be, to be so used, but the trust has no TIN. Must I redraft the letter to tell the bank that the beneficiary LLC's EIN should be used in, in the bank's reporting? Does this compromise the secrecy of the trust beneficiary? What would be the most... What would be the most alternative solutions? I hope that you understand that it's broken up long question. Anything it's it's a long to... question. And what I'm thinking you're saying, Marvin, and thank you for the question. I, I think what you're saying is you don't have an EIN number for the trust, a TIN number. And, uh, and if you don't have one, get one. And there is uh, instructions to on how to do the number in your book in your your land trust book so we can we can help you with that for sure but uh yeah if i would not use the llc's number but you could use the llc's number to obtain the trust number if the llc is going to be the beneficiary but you should use the trust tin number to open a bank account certainly and now if 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 that's the asset side of things but if you're opening a bank account, then the bank account should be opened in the name of your management trust. And that management trust should get its own number, its own TIN for the personal property trust that's going to have the bank account as its asset. Uh, that needs its own number. Using that number, you'll be able to open a trust bank account. Now, Marvin, just to uh, you know, zero in on lowering your, uh, your aggravation level, I suggest that you not go to a big bank. Big banks are big pains. <laughs> and uh, so I, I encourage you to go to a small bank there locally, uh, one that maybe a credit union for that matter would be great, but uh, not, not the traditional bank. Um, Luke and I had something here. Um, his comments about um, having an LLC beneficiary to be sold as an IRS allowable 1031 exchange. Um, an LLC doesn't have to be involved in doing that. Um, you can exchange a property. It doesn't have anything to do with having an LLC. It doesn't have anything to do with it being in a trust or not. Obviously, we purchase and sell properties in trust. But that's not a requirement to have an LLC involved to do a 1031 exchange. 